in this question we're going to try to find the roots of this function okay so uh, the question is asking us to find that the, that this function has three solutions and we need to find them okay i think we can do this one very quickly but we're going to learn something from this question okay so three solutions and we need to find them that means we can do a trick or maybe some factorization and get them very quickly the key idea here is that we can use some factorization here okay so that means we need to solve to get the solution we need to solve f of x zero equals zero that means the uh, this function this equation equals zero so we can rewrite it in uh, the power form as x to one five okay so here we can factor out by uh, always we use the smallest ratio which is one over seven okay so it's gonna give us one minus x over one over five minus one over seven it's two over 35 I'm assuming that's right. So let me check. 1 over 7 minus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7. Okay, that's that's right. Okay. Now, to get the solutions, I see them now. So to get the solutions, we're going to rewrite this one here. So we have a first one, 0. Or we can see that 0 is a solution from here. So when we plug 0, we get f, f of 0 is 0. That means it's a solution. We can also see that we have 1. Because when we plug 1, we get 0. So that means, okay, here we're going to write this one as 1 minus x to the power 1 over 25 squared. Okay. And we'll write it again. 1 minus x to 1 over 35 times 1 plus x to 1 over 35. Okay. And therefore, we get the solutions. These ones gives us x is 0. This one x is 1. This one x is minus 1. Therefore, we have three solutions. These are the solutions of our, of our equation. Just some factoring and noting here that we used 1 minus x squared is 1 minus x times 1 plus x with x being as uh, x to 1 over 35. Okay? So that's, that's, that's the key to note this one and factoring always factor by the smallest ratio so this this one here one over seven and we get the result what if we have tried by factoring by one over five so we're gonna have a negative okay a negative ratio that's that's and we're gonna flip them down and we're gonna have a zero issue okay but anyways the two solutions so we have answered a uh we have solved the two questions so we have shown that we have three solutions and we found them okay we could have done this problem uh, this problem in a different way but uh, i think factoring is the the, the the easiest way to answer these two questions at the same time so three solutions and we find them so doing them at the same time so if you go another way you have to find the solutions or try to show that they exist and you have to find them okay but this one is that is, is helping us find the solutions and showing that, that we have three of them and these are zero minus one one Okay, thank you very much.